Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This brief video is made specially to show you uh, the different facial muscles on a model. This is very important as far as the toxin treatment or Botox treatment is concerned. And uh, the sound knowledge of uh, the facial muscle is important for all uh, our aesthetic um, complications and aesthetic indications. So the facial muscles are also called as the craniofacial muscles. And these are around 20 flat muscles, most of which, which um, originate from the bone or fascia and is inserted into the skin. There are few group of these um, skeletal muscles. One group is the muscles which are surrounding the eye. Second group are the muscles which are surrounding the oral mucosa, uh, sorry, surrounding the lips, sorry. Then there is a muscle, there are few muscles which are surrounding the nose. And then there are muscle, there is a muscle which is surrounding the um, auricle or the ear. So as far as the Botox treatment is concerned, the two most important group of muscles are those muscles which are surrounding the eyes and those muscles which are surrounding the lips. So first we are going to discuss those muscles which are surrounding the eyes. These muscles are important in the upper face Botox. So just consider this that uh, there are a few muscles which elevate the eyebrow and there will be muscles who are depressing the eyebrow. So all the muscles uh, everywhere in the body there are always contralateral muscles, they are always op opposing muscles. Uh, one action of the muscle is uh, opposed by uh, another muscle and this balance uh, creates the balance in the facial expressions and the features. So as far as the elevator of eyebrow is concerned, there is only one mus muscle which causes this elevation and it is the frontalis muscle. It's a flat muscle that originates from the eyebrow and inserted into glia aponeurotica. There are usually two bellies of frontalis muscle. Sometimes there is single large belly and frontalis muscle is the only elevator of the eyebrow. As far as the depressor of eyebrows are concerned, there are two group of muscles. The depressor of medial eyebrow and depressor of lateral eyebrow. Among the depressor of medial eyebrow, two muscles are important. The one is the procerus. This is a small muscle which originates from the nasal bone and uh, comes on to, uh, in, inserted into the skin. And then other is the corrugator supercilium muscle. So both these two muscles, by their contraction, they would bring the medial eyebrow down. And as far as the lateral eyebrow is concerned, uh, it is the lateral fibers of this orbicularis oculi muscle which uh, pulls this lateral eyebrow down. So the lateral uh, depressor of eyebrow are the lateral fibers of orbicularis oculi and the medial depressor of eyebrow are the corrugator supercilii and procerus muscle. So once we are doing the upper face Botox, we address all these muscles. So after um, inhibiting or reducing the function of these muscles, eyebrow take a neutral position. Then we come to the muscle of uh, surrounding the lips. These are uh, very important and there are about 11 different muscles which uh, are present in this region. And among these 11 muscles, there are 7 elevator of the lip and there are three depressor of the lip and one muscle is the orbicularis oris which surround the lip and which causes the closing of the lips. Among the elevator of the lip um, we start with from medial to lateral. The first muscle of importance is Levator labi superioris aliki nasi. So this muscle is originated from the nasal bone and then is inserted into this uh, upper lips. And it is an elevator of the lip. 
this muscle is uh, hypertrophic or is uh, contracting more vigorously in those individuals who have a gummy smile. So in order to reduce this gummy smile, we inject few units of Botox in this muscle. There is a Johnson point, um, you can get it from other lectures where the point where to insert in this muscle is there. So levator uh, labi superiors alikinesi is elevator of the uh, upper lip. Then the muscle lateral to levator labi superiors alikinesi is a bigger muscle which is called as the levator labi superioris. This muscle is originating from, originate from the um, zygomatic bone and is inserted again into the upper lip and it causes elevation of the um, upper lip. The muscle lateral to levator levi superioris is zygomaticus minor muscle. Zygomaticus minor originate from the zygomatic bone and inserted into the upper lip and is again the elevator of the uh, angle of the upper lip. Muscle lateral to zygomaticus minor is a bigger muscle which is zygomaticus major. Insert, uh, originate from the zygomatic bone and inserted into the modulus. This uh, um, modulus is a fibromuscular hub which is located at the angle of the lips and most of the muscles of uh, the elevators and depressors are inserted into the modulus and that's why the paralysis of these muscles will result in either aversion of the angle of lip or depression of the angle of lip. So we have just mentioned uh, five uh, muscles, uh, sorry, four muscles till now, which are the elevator of the upper lip, the levator levi superioris alikinesi, levator levi superioris, zygomaticus minor, and then zygomaticus major. Uh, the, the, uh, another muscle which is uh, the elevator of the angle of lip or rather um, um, which pulls the angle of the lip to superior medially is resorus muscle. Resorus muscles originate from the fascia and inserted again into the modulus. So this muscle is uh, uh, the most important muscle which is uh, uh, which produces the smile. So if the rosorius muscle is paralyzed, then this smiling is uh, particularly affected. Okay, now we come to those muscles which are the depressor of the lip. And among these muscles, there are three important muscles. The first is the depressor anguli oris, which is also called as DAO. This is uh, the most superficial muscle originate from the angle of mandible and inserted into the modulus. So depressor anguli oris is the depressor of the angle of mouth. If this muscle is paralyzed, then this uh, or is weakened, then angle of mouth is averted up. So this is an important muscle which a, we, um, uh, we paralyze in case in order to uh, improve the marionette line. Few units of uh, Botox is given in this muscle. Immediately deeper to depressor anguli oris is the de depressor labi inferioris. This muscle again originates from the mandible and inserted into the lower lip, fascia of the lower lip. This is a bigger muscle and stronger muscle and is the main muscle which causes the uh, which causes the lower uh, movement of movement of the lower lip. If this muscle is paralyzed, then um, this uh, the downward pull of the lower lip will be lost, and as a result, the lip will be lip will be um, having a um, abnormal shape. This muscle is usually not addressed in uh, lower phase Botox, but um, by fault or by giving a deeper injection into depressor anguli oris, we sometimes put few units of Botox in depressor labi and fioris resulting in this, uh, this paralysis. The third muscle which is 
uh, a pull which is a downward puller of the lower lip is the mentalis muscle and mentalis muscle uh, usually results in uh, creating the lines in the mandible and we put botox uh, botox here uh, in order to remove those lines so uh, a no the last muscle or when which is the most important muscle is the orbicularis oris muscle which surrounds the uh, upper and lower lip and this movement of this muscle causes the lip closure so the movement of lips the opening closing smile all these actions they are dependent on the uh, uh, presence and preservation of functions of all the muscles surrounding the lip then i am going to discuss two more muscles which are although not very strong muscles but does have some effect one of these though the those muscle is the nasalis muscle it is the main muscle of the nose there are two fibers of nasalis the transverse fibers and the alley and the fibers on the alley so this muscle is uh, important in production of uh, bunny lines which are the transverse line which we see on the nose nasal base and this uh, the alar part of the nasalis muscle is important in creating the nasal flare uh, nasal flare so putting a few units of botox here will um, will address this nasal flare another a muscle which is not that important uh, in humans but is important in animal is the auricular muscle so the auricular muscle has the medial lateral and superior part so this muscle is quite weak in humans and we are unable to move our uh, auricle uh, but sometime during the smile the contraction of this muscle moves your auricle moves the ear and produce some effects another muscle which is of importance which is not the muscle of facial expression but rather a muscle of uh, uh, deglutition or chewing is the masseter muscle this is a huge muscle which originate from uh, the bone and inserted again into the bone and its movement causes the chewing this uh, masseter muscle is important as it causes the bulking or the pro pro projection of cheek and by putting botox in the masseter muscle you create a cylinder look because these fibers once they atrophy then it give a triangular look to the face so this muscle is important as far as the um, lower face um, botox is concerned so that's all for today and i hope this lecture was of some importance and some help for you thank you and have a good day